Uh, Ed, quite the turnaround for, for Worcester from, from yesterday. What's the, what's the mood in the dressing room like now? Yeah, I think obviously a little bit disappointing after that last session, but we've just been speaking there. I think we've got to put it in the context of the game. Um, we're still very much in this game, if not probably slightly in, in a better position, I think. Um, they're only two, whatever it is, 2.30 ahead. Uh, if we can get a quick couple in the morning, then we're in a, in a good spot. But yeah, probably those last couple of wickets have hurt us a little bit from where we were in the position we were in. Has the wicket flattened out from, from your point of view? It looks like it, it has and got easier for batting. Yeah, definitely. I think like all season really, as the ball got older and it's got softer, it's got a lot easier to bat on. I thought Wayne and Anage, the way they played was excellent really to get through that tough period when they came in. Um, and then, yeah, you saw in that last session, it, it got easier and it was easier to score and they played really well and we probably didn't quite hit our straps. But like I say, we're still in a good position coming back in the morning. Yeah, because when you got Wayne out, maybe with the the, dark, the the door was slightly ajar there, but the way they battled was yeah, fair play. Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously, when you get a big wicket like that, you'd hope um, when you six down, hopes go bang bang. But obviously, the lad uh, Matt came out, played really well, um, looked positive, um, and yeah, we probably didn't quite get it right, which is a shame. Uh, we probably got slightly tired towards the end, but. We'll come back in the morning fresh and hopefully let's take those wickets as quick as we can. I mean, obviously, as, as few as possible in terms of what you want to chase, but given what happened down at Middlesex, I mean, whatever you're set, I guess you're going to feel reasonably confident, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. And even you look at the last, last game here, Glamorgan obviously chased a big score. Um, we know the wickets get better here. They don't particularly deter deteriorate. Um, so we're getting those wickets as quick as you can, but whatever score they set us, it'll be getting a good start to our innings and then we know we can chase anything here. So, yeah, we're still very confident. Thanks, Ed. Is there still a ball in this wicket, uh, Ed? Yeah, I think there is. I think if you get in the right area, it's still probably not quite as much as day one. I think it's slightly more on day one, but like I say, it'll be getting through that first 20, 30 overs, getting to the ball nice and soft like they had it there that last hour, and then hopefully it'll be easier to bat on. You didn't have the best of the conditions today, did you? I mean, it was overcast this morning. The minute you came out to bowl, the sun came out. Yeah, it, it, it sometimes happens like that, doesn't it? But um, yeah, you can't help that sometimes, and hopefully the sun's out the next couple of days when we bat. Yourself when you arrived, what was uh, what was your view of that? Um, yeah, I, I wasn't sure I hit it. I didn't, I didn't think I hit it, but no, that's just the game. Sometimes, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. So um, yeah, just tough And the way we battle all the way down, as you say, you battle to chase a big token. Yeah, definitely. And we got lots of confidence in it, like you say, from the middle sets game and from Good Morgan. The way they chased our big score here, there's absolutely no reason why we can't go on to win this game in the next couple of days.